Don't be shocked. Hi, every guy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm nervous. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm really excited to show you this topic. Uh, we've been talking about this a little bit in previous chapters, but I want to talk to you um, and use an example of uh, a microorganism that uh, goes through a specific process. And this is used in <clears throat> manufacturing um, and uh, has been used for thousands of years, actually, this manufacturing process. It's one of the earliest manufacturing processes in chemistry. So um, let me start by showing you <clears throat> in this my handy dandy. This is the manufacturing process. You can see it here, it's a jar. There is um, uh, sucrose in the bottom, uh, which converts to ethanol above. And you can see there's a, there's a little bit of ethanol right here. Let's see if I can show you that. <clears throat> um, the ethanol is right at the top, right? Okay, can you see it? Okay, great. Actually, what I'll do is I'll take that ethanol and bleed it off here. Great. <clears throat> this is ethanol. Okay. You guys know the chemical formula for ethanol because we know this, right? <clears throat> ethanol is um, six hydrogen atoms surrounded, surrounding two carbon atoms and, uh, and, uh, and oxygen atoms. You can see that these two are ready to go. The O and the H pops off very easily. Um, this is a model of XYZ factor. <clears throat> and here you can see a separate model. Um, that is influenced by Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Um, these four models will be on the final. So be sure to study these. Uh, let's take a look at ethanol, All right? What I showed you earlier <coughs> was um, sourdough bread. This is bread. This is how bread starts. If you have leavened bread, not unleavened bread, like they talk about in the Bible, but leavened bread, then you will have this. You will eat this, <laughs> actually. This is flour on the bottom. And on the top is um, liquid ethanol. And <clears throat> you can smell this here. I don't think I'll probably drink this, but I can definitely smell it. <sighs> yep, yep, it smells like alcohol. <clears throat> well, it's ethanol, it might be safe, right? Ugh. <coughs> okay, uh, that is not pleasant. Anyway, um, <coughs> it's kind of foamy, <clears throat> very sour. Ugh. Um, um, okay, great. So. This is ethanol. Um, <clears throat> you know what ethanol is. Let's talk about an, a microorganism's role in the production of ethanol from <clears throat> the sucrose, sucrose sugar. It's on the bottom here. Flour. Flour has sugar in it, sucrose in it, right? <clears throat> All right. This is the process we're going to be looking through. Um, the learning objective here is um, that you are able to understand all the processes here that result in an alcoholic fermentation and ethanol, C2H60. Uh, you guys who play uh, ping pong or what do they call that, beer pong, <clears throat> you're consuming a lot of this. And actually, uh, this process is the predecessor for what you've been consuming. Okay, um, let's start with uh, sucrose, C2H2O11. Uh, which becomes, which goes to water and glucose and fructose. <clears throat> to be honest, I, I was not very good at chemistry. Um, all right, ending in ethanol, C2H6O. Okay, so the alcoholic fermentation starts with the flour, ends with the ethanol. Or if you're using beer, um, it would start with the mash and end with the foamy concoction that you all like when you play beer pong. This is the birth of beer. Uh, a microorganism converts the sugar in the flour to the ethanol that bleeds off. <clears throat> this is a byproduct of bread making, but um, it's also a, a byproduct of beer making, and you enjoy that byproduct. Okay, great. So to summarize, what we're talking about is I showed you uh, the starter, starter. This is how you make bread, obviously. <clears throat> a medium, uh, ethanol, how does it get that way? This is the ethanol, all right? It needs to be, um, it needs to be clarified, purified uh, through a process called distillation. But um, <clears throat> this is the process that we went through. Um, how this happens, the transition from these molecules um, through uh, the process of creating ethanol will be on the final. 
and I want you to be able to describe <clears throat> how this happens. I don't, I don't care about, you know, the numbers and letters and all that. I, I want you to give me, um, I want you to show me that you understand that sucrose becomes ethanol through the medium of yeast because <clears throat> of these 14 processes. Okay. You're not going to be able to remember this. <laughs> You're not going to be able to memorize this. I want you to talk in a coherent way and I want you to show me that you know this well enough to describe it to a six-year-old. I want you to get so good at understanding this that you can describe this to a six-year-old, okay? The exam has two parts. <clears throat> I'm gonna want you to uh, write this out uh, and talk about it just as I have been talking about it and describe it. So you're gonna be building a video, uh, not too unlike what I'm building right here, where you talk about the process <clears throat> and show me that you understand uh, that yeast are a catalyst um, between uh, sucrose and ethanol. You tell me how that works, okay? In your own words, um, please don't Google this and read something from Google or go to YouTube and then transcribe the YouTube and all that stuff. I want you to speak honestly, clearly about this process and show me that you've mastered it, okay? <clears throat> I want you to do it in writing and I want you to do it in video, okay? Here's you talking about yeast and uh, how yeast is a friend and creates ethanol. Okay, so the, part, the project has two parts, um, a timed essay, which you'll be doing in <clears throat> Camino and a multimedia assignment video project, okay? where you are going to, this is kind of equivalent to um, an oral exam for a dissertation, for a doctorate. I want you to come in and speak uh, uh, coherently uh, and with clarity on this topic. Okay, great. <clears throat> the way I'm gonna ass assess you is uh, I have this rubric and it talks about all of these wonderful things uh, in chemistry <clears throat> classes that uh, show me that you understand. Um, um, uh, I don't know enough to do that rubric, sorry. Okay, great. So <clears throat> let me switch back to FaceTime. Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> I want you to take this concept of a microorganism that helps us complete a chemical process, <clears throat> sucrose, ethanol, and understand it well enough, practice with each other, so that one, you can write an exam, question, essay, that tells me that you know, you know this process. <clears throat> I don't want you to write down all the chemical, just the chemical formulas and all that. I want you to tell me how this works in a meaningful way. And number two, I want you to build a video like this, where you describe the process of um, sucrose to ethanol through yeast and, <clears throat> Uh, why this is important uh, in the manufacturing cycle. Okay? All right, great. <clears throat>